like uh like one of my best friends is like his family's like family and so his cousin was getting married and they was doing it on a cruise ship and so they invited me like oh come on i'm like oh I bet yeah i'm gonna roll you know what i'm saying but mind you i'm somebody's guest mm. at a wedding on a cruise ship right and i put the tree in like see, these these little capsules like paint capsules and i put it inside the deodorant or the lotion one of the two and that works to get there mm -hmm. right uh we got there and we couldn't find no rellos we had to buy like some real cigars and like break them down like unroll them to like roll up you know it was like worse than backwards right but we did that the cigars came in like a metal can and so i'm like cool i you know i got them rolled up the some 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 blunts or whatever mm -hmm. added in my um shorts mm. pocket. now they told us not to wear army fatigue coming off of an american ship over there mm. they, just, they was like nowhere but i think i love army fatigue you know what, what i'm saying i had a, i don't know bro but they told us not to okay i put on my shorts and and, and i'm not even thinking because i just wear army fatigue and you just my, did it anyway I just did it. Any, I wasn't thinking. I had some with me, and they were just like, "Yeah, don't do this." And I was like, "All right, whatever." <laughs> so I wasn't thinking. Just put them on. We we went ran to the beach. Ran to the beach. Wait, wait, wait. The pot calling the kettle black with Pat talking to you right now. You did it anyway. You took weed <laughs> into <laughs> Canada. Listen, but, but they listen. said they said another country. You're American. Don't wear fatigue. I would take that as. They're gonna take you. They're gonna think you're a soldier and right. shoot at you. Oh yeah, touche. <laughs> right, right, right. But so it wasn't that. It was just. It was about, it was about scaring. It was. It was. Listen. It was about scaring people at like the harbor, right? Okay. Like, make them feel like we was invading or something like that. Just scaring them. Mm -hmm. Like right. Really? I know. I'm like nigga. I have mm -hmm. one of my t-shirt. Whatever. Anyway. So, I we getting off the boat is easy. Getting back on the boat, they were like, "Hey, my man." Those shorts, we told you not to wear those shorts. Mm. I'm like, oh, shit, my bad. They're like, all right. So they already were irritated with me. Mm -hmm. Wasn't a big deal. They was like, mm -hmm. dude, come on, man. <laughs> I take everything out of my pockets, put it in the thing, and go through the metal detector to come back into the boat. But mm -hmm. I have a metal can in my cargo that I forgot about. So I'm taking everything mm -hmm. out. Ooh, walk through. Beep. He's like, oh, you got to go back. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? All mm -hmm. right, come on. Metal can in your pocket? Like a, It's like an Altoid box. It's like an oh, Altoid okay. box. And it's like a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. All the cigars, sit, like, the cigarellos sit in there like side to side. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, these is big ass shorts. It's like 2000 and shit. It's like 2000 and like four. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, oh, niggas, niggas was wearing like, uh, uh, niggas still had on them GU and their wife beaters with, with the bra. Okay. <laughs> you, you got the stunt 101 guy. Uh, you had them. I teach you how to stunt song. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, why did them beaters? Nobody ever had muscle when the niggas wore them. Nah, nah, That's nah. What, wait, wait, wait. That's what Fifty Cent never told you. That one, that white beater that went like that. You needed to be buff. You need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, or else you do it like uh, you do it like fucking. Uh, it was boneless. One of them so foolish. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. This where it get crazy. The the <laughs> All right, well, go ahead and, go ahead and enjoy that, CT. The boneless beater. Go ahead, CP. I'm sorry, bro. It's I bad, nigga. Don't fucking blame me. <laughs> no, it's fucking hilarious. It's fucking boneless beaters. I get it, man. You fucking, you know. Anyway. The liberation is powerful. Listen, man. <sighs> I didn't fill the can. I forgot I had it. I was high, obviously. Man, they took that out of my pocket. I was like, oh, they opened it up. They smelled it. They looked at the other dude. They started smelling it, blah, blah, blah. They told me to get off to the side. Mm. Nigga, these, they started interrogating me, like, where'd you get it from? Are people out there selling it to our people? I'm like, no, nah, it was just, it, it was, like, so you brought it onto our ship? I'm like, no, I didn't bring it. And they didn't sell it. It just, they was like, I was, I was like, I was like, I bought it on the beach at the last uh, island. They was like, well, what did the guy look like? I'm like, he was he was he, he, he was tall. I don't know. They was like, listen. <laughs> they was like, bro, we can leave you on this island and you could figure your own way back. Mm. I was like, what does that mean? That means I would be kicked off the boat wherever we were at. Mm -hmm. Like people were like braiding hair for a living on the thing right there. It was like, I'm like, no, y'all can't leave me here. And he was like, Yeah, I think we will leave you here. And we went to I'm, I'm talking about like 
I was petrified. I had my dog go back to the suite and flush everything. And then they didn't even check the suite, so we didn't even need to flush it. But like, yeah. <laughs> I'm confused. It, hey, the yo, options TV. aren't, aren't the coming was trash, bro. Jail. They could just leave you? They can leave you. You said what, bro? <laughs> that story was trash, bro. Well, it's hey. like trash, man. It got cut off in the middle with, with, the, with the commercial. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, man. This, I, was, I was on the edge of my seat. And I was like, for this nigga? I want the resolution. I ain't gonna so, lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's probably a regular size seat, nigga. You need to get a bigger seat. <laughs> hey, man, you, you, you be bring it, man. I, Wait. I, I, pay, I pay high ticket prices for this shit. Hey, the I'm best part was wearing army shorts. That was the best part. How did you get them to let you back on the... Yo, listen, before I even ask this question, <laughs> y'all gotta notice about CP, bro. When CP is offended, <laughs> he don't smile. He be looking for the next thing to say. <laughs> I was like a dog sitting his own like, oh, what you got, CP? What you that got? That nigga is so <laughs> offended. That nigga said, What is it, quiet? He starts scanning in the room to see what you got on. And he be like, okay, yeah, 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 that's cool, that's cool. But then I know. How about your back? Oh, CP. You can't be that funny. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga started looking at the eye. That <laughs> nigga was like, yeah. <laughs> so look, so how did you get back on the boat if they threatening you to get off? Oh, I was on the boat, bro. They were threatening to put me off, like not let me pass. Oh, the little, yeah. But every every harbor, it's like the boat got like their own TSA. They like mm. and they come back home. So I was like, nigga, I was scared. Nigga, there was nothing I could say. They just had to have mercy. They was like, you know, if, if anything happens again, da 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 da, then. So like, I was like scared to smoke. I was scared to do anything because I'm like, I don't want to get caught. Nigga, these niggas talking about leaving niggas on the <laughs> island. I didn't know that was an option. I don't even know if this island has an airport or yeah. nothing, bro. Like, I couldn't. What, I'm going to call my mom and be like, hey, I'm at, nigga, I didn't know how to get money. Well, Wait, why you wear the shorts anyway? If they told you don't wear the shorts. That's, and I'd have had the shorts the only on. Thing you that's, what gonna say. that's what your mama going to say first. Well, if they told you not to wear the shorts. Bruh, listen to me. It was like an announcement at, at the beginning of the week. By the time I thought about it, I just put mm. the shorts on. Nobody reminded me. And yeah. it wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, whatever. The story trash, Dion. I'm about to go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be here in this shit. Hey, listen, What's the first topic? That's about huh? as good a place to have the first time. So get your speed. Uh, you get your speed. Uh, we got Dion Lack. Get your speed. CT in the house. Shout out to the OG squad. CP, Patrick Cloud. I'm to hear more. We're gonna jump into this first topic. Hey, you say this. it. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex, fellas. Remember those days when you was always ready to go? Now? You can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in the bedroom. Listen up. BlueChew.com. BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. But here's the thing. They do it in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost. You can take them at any time, day or night. So you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is so simple, all right? Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you receive your prescription within days. The best part about all of this is that it's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in the line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. So I'm saying, you could be missing out on the best sex of your life. Blue Chew wants to help you discover better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D -D, at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, -D, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we want to thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. First topic of the day, we have, would you rather marry the person you lost your virginity to or keep the first job you ever had forever? 
Oh my god, those are terrible options. Terrible bro. options, bro. Huh. Uh Jesus. I guess I'll okay. marry you know what? I'm gonna keep the job, the first job I ever had, because it could just be one of many jobs that I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to, like my first job was working at Target as a cashier. So right now, mm. being me having having to having to do one day a week at Target, you know what I'm saying, is better than fucking marrying who I lost my. Uh, you gotta commit to being a Target employee for the rest. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have time to work another job. You can move up in that job, but you will never be like not at that job. Like I was at White Castles, and so I could possibly be a store manager, but I can't mm. go on and be like, all right, I'm now corporate. I'm working at a desk and all that. Nah, I'm still nah, gonna be at that same White Castles. You gotta be at the same time. Nah, fuck that. Because because if you, you get another job, you might get another job that's way more. But you still can I marry it? Can I marry the girl that I that she lost her virginity to me as opposed to the one I lost my virginity to? Oh, that's a great loophole. Whoa. Was, was that was that was that was that the question? That You're right. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Because when I lost my virginity, she was a lot older than me. And two, my first job, I worked at a gas station. I was refilling. <laughs> Go ahead, Pat. <laughs> Switched it up completely. <laughs> <'Cause I'm> like, <laughs> these are horrible choices, bro. <laughs> the the job I worked at a gas either. station and I was yeah. refilling stuff. <laughs> I was ten. Refilling I got paid ten dollars an hour. You work, we were like you know, you had a gas station, you gotta refill the windshield wiper fluid. You got to stock the shelves, and then I got paid ten dollars an hour and day old donuts. All the day old donuts I could eat. <laughs> And as a chubby kid, that was the greatest payoff ever. That was bro. actually part of your payment? Yeah. My mom talked him in to let me get all the day-old donuts. <laughs> and I got $10 an hour. I only worked two yeah, hours. Negotiate that. Negotiate that. Well, <laughs> so that was my mom's second job. So she worked at the gas station. That's her second job. She was behind the, the glass. And she was like, you know, my son need a job. And I started working there two hours a day. I was 10 years old, had a worker's permit. And then, like, a week later, no, two weeks later, they were like, yeah, he's too young to work here. And I'm like, but y'all saw the work permit. And they're like, yeah, but if you was 11, oh, you could be in here. And I was like, man. So I got fired. But into your, into your, your mom's an enabler. And, <laughs> and, and, and my mom would freeze the donuts. He was like, why the fuck did I never get any donuts? <laughs> Oh, from White Castle. Was, my whole life. I was, uh, you had to worry about I was stealing all the donuts from White Castle, my boy. We had glazed cake donuts and chocolate. I had all what? of them. What are you saying? White, White, Castle? Bro, White Castle, Castle donuts is nasty work. work. Not the glazed ones. <clears throat> glazed ones was all. The, the fact donuts was part of the negotiation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my mom enabled me, what boy. I had, she used to right freeze right? the donuts. <laughs> one of the times I got robbed when I was working at White Castle is when the dude robbed me through the uh, the drive through window. One of the times it's crazy. I, I emptied out the <laughs> register. And he was like, "Let me get two glazed donuts too." <laughs> Wait, did you have to wrap them up and give them to him? No, they come they come already wrapped. They're individually wrapped. But yeah. the fact that he asked for the donuts during the robbery, yeah. I was like, "These donuts do be hit though." <laughs> <laughs> hey, have y'all ever have y'all ever stole from work? What? What's, what's considered stealing? Mm -hmm. Because I worked at Dairy Queen and we just got what we wanted to eat. We, we didn't get in trouble. We just filled yeah. up blizzards. If that's stealing, Dairy Queen and niggas like Dion working, I would nigga, I would weigh you coming in. That damn scale, Dion. I'd be like, no, I, I don't, I don't want to get on the scale. Get on the scale Dion. I'm bloated. I'm bloated. <laughs> No, no, you got CP. You got to weigh him before and after his shift. That's what I'm saying. I'm so saying you got to fill him out. Like, get, get on this fucking scale, Dion. All them goddamn. <laughs> where are all, where are all the butterfinger? All the butterfinger punches are gone. Where the fuck? We ain't got no toppings. <laughs> no, you just do a mouth swab, and if it's 60% glazed, <laughs> do a cheek swab. It's, it's all good. <laughs> I'll be giving him COVID snack test all day. COVID snack test. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here. Nigga, I'll have a scientist pay. Like, yep, there's, there's pieces of Oreo and uh, French fry. Heat, chocolate heat. I will work the job, bro. Cool as hell. They gave us.
Yeah, I mean, free arcade tokens, free food, free games. It was a laser tag, so you can't steal a game of laser tag. You can. Well, I guess so, but I mean, it was it was. They just turned it off. They just let us play. Damn, that's dope. <laughs> you're so disciplined. Oh yeah, you can. If I was <laughs> 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 the furniture dolly would just do. Are y'all laser tagging on company time? Without <laughs> laser tagging, where's Wreck and Ralph at? I don't know. It, just, it was here yesterday. Oh, oh yes, you can. <laughs> uh, if I was a supervisor, <laughs> that's funny too. Yeah. Although everybody used to steal snacks from all deaf, that was like a that was like a thing. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, crab services. Nah, just in our fridge and freezer. Yeah. <laughs> that, would it. that would do it. I um yeah. I wouldn't do my my first virginity because she, I I jumped in. How many did you start with? Huh? <laughs> you said I wouldn't do my first virginity. I, my I third lied. one. I would marry her. I do them all the time. Keep <laughs> on. I'm a virgin, baby. Go ahead, and take it from your boy. I'm gonna look her up right now. See, see what she looks like. <laughs> if she's from California, she's probably still good. This yeah. is a Detroit woman I'm talking about. She's on four flats now, boy. <laughs> four flats. She, she on four flats. flats. She on four flats, boy. So if she's dead now, because the woman lost her virginity too, she's dead. So what Jesus. happens? I mean, I didn't kill her. I didn't beat it up that bad. Oh, you sound more and more like a slave every time you talk, Dion. I'm just starting to realize, like, wait, let's take a second. Yeah, then my first wife, uh, my first wife was dead because they sold her. <laughs> Yeah, then everybody was shackled. They were shackled like this when they when the principal came. Dion, how did that get worse by the second? Like exactly. It, like you kept stacking on it. I don't. I don't even know. What to, I don't even know how to. I mean, she had. She died like five years ago. How? You're not telling us how. I don't know. Natural natural causes. How old was this woman? How old are you? Causes? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't look. A heart attack. I don't know. I don't. She. I didn't look it up. People was All right, like, yeah. what, what, yeah. listen, 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 yeah, when, yeah. People die, when people yeah. die, you could wait to kind of see in, this, in the comment section on Facebook how they die. If nobody mentioned them, I'm like, hey, I didn't, I didn't have no, no mutual friends, like, hey, how she died? I never yeah. knew. Dion, just, just, pick, knew was just, the pick, sister. just pick the other option. Yeah, <laughs> you wild. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Why is that wild? Back to Dairy Queen, you go, my boy. Back to Dairy Queen, you go. It's Man. not acting like you didn't want to go back there. Yeah, anyway. I got to go on 23 and me to find his bitch. Like, what, what, what was her ancestry? <laughs> if she was a part of. <laughs> he said, I didn't beat it up that bad. That's crazy. Because <laughs> I, I mean, it's true. She's no longer with us. When you said natural causes, you're only 41. So when you say <laughs> natural causes, she should have been at least 78. <laughs> for natural causes to make sense. It's, it's, it's heart attack instead of natural causes? No. Yes, it is. The only thing natural causes is like is dying in your sleep. Well, technically, Dion you, can, Dion, you can still pick that option. You would just be single now. There it is. Mm. That's low-key the best scenario. What? <laughs> she dies immediately? You No, I'm saying you got a loophole because if you pick that option to the wizard... It's not. It's not you being confined to a job the whole your whole life. Right. right? Yeah. There it yeah. Is. Uh, what's a what's a nigga widow called? A widow. Widower. Widower. It's called. A, it's, called a, it's called a nido. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I'm a nido, baby. <laughs> so dark. <laughs> My house, baby. I'm a nido. Yeah. Okay. So just just for clarity. <clears throat> Simply put, a natural death is one that occurs due to an internal factor that causes the body to shut down, such as cancer, heart disease, or diabetes. If someone falls from, uh, I mean, dies from like a fall or drowning or something like that, that is considered unnatural. So natural is when you kill you. Basically, yeah, in something internal, yeah. It, it forces, whatever you're dealing with internally forces your body to shut down. That's a natural mm -hmm. cause. Got mm. it. And now we're just pre, you know, prejudging her because she was a big girl. So I, I was you're making it going. worse. Hey, I'm All not right, taking man. it back. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and put that to a vote, and we're gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hey. go with my job. I'm hey, I blame Meg. Job. I blame Meg for this because 
people don't really really realize how much Meg does for this show until she's gone. This is this is where we wouldn't get to if Meg. <laughs> Cancel me, all right? But him alone, this just yeah. him alone. The rest of us, we like it here. I'm, I'm, you like it here. I'm marrying. I'm marrying my my first. Good for you. Did you just look her up? Because you said yeah, that yeah, confidently. You must have just looked her up. She's still straight. Yeah, yeah. She's African, so, you know. Oh. Okay. Not going to crack. I'm taking my job, man. Nah, man. You're going to okay. be at Target forever. Hey, man, but I'm but I'm married, though. So it's like I can't unmarry my wife. To, that's that's horrible. I'm taking – I got to work at Target. So I'm going to make it. She's going to love the discount. She's going to love the discount, you know? Uh, CT, you said the job too, right? I'm at the job, okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's just remembering. He said four flats. I've never heard a human being <laughs> referred to like yeah. that. <laughs> Still four hey, flats, but... That was such a Detroit answer. I get it. I'm mm. like, oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. And, and, and beyond... We just gonna say you gonna even if you say something different, we just gonna say the job. So it looks like the job has it on that one. We gonna yeah. move on to this next topic right after this. All right. Would you rather get a hundred dollars when you make someone laugh versus a thousand dollars when you make someone cry? Hey. Oh, hundred. <laughs> Absolutely. I I can probably count on. Whoa, well, shit. I I can oh, probably oh. count on a hundred hands how many people I made cry. But I can't, I can't, I can't, I mean, I think. You're doing numbers. Yeah, yeah I, I was just about to say the number probably harder, like longer than I thought. But I think I would. That you, can, you can easily make 10 people laugh for every one person you make cry. I think that's way harder. And y'all can I, will, I will work at a nursery. And what we do, the amount of people that watch our stuff and all the live, the live shows Bro, we do, my, I'm counting all of yeah, you. Clean it up, every I show. Smell, smell up. Yeah. I'll work at a nursery. You said a hundred dollars for one laugh. Hold on, yeah. hold on. Don't, do don't, don't listen to this to what this nigga Dion just said. <laughs> he talk about he talk about crying. He talk about making babies cry. Listen, no, it's That's not making brother. cry. Wait, you know what's it, crazy? As soon as they start crying, you know what's I'm crazy? Then I feed That's them. What the and movie Michael right. was about, and the more I look at you, I'm like, yeah, Sully. You you could have been you could have been Hall of Fame. So you call this nigga? Hang on. <laughs> Real quick though, I just want to because you guys are stand up comedians. If y'all had a show that only had a hundred people, you guys would make ten thousand dollars per laugh. And my nigga, I would come out that bitch with a million. And I, I double check my math, but I think that that's that's pretty, pretty accurate. I just, I'd I just, like to pick my audience. Like <laughs> I will want prime time real estate audience because if you got a Friday 8 o'clock all black crowd urgh, that's not going you're not going to get a $10,000 now if you got yeah, that's not if you true. got a Saturday night mixed crowd at 8pm I'm walking out that bitch a multi-millionaire hey I'm telling you like this I don't give a fuck if we are at a funeral I'm walking out that bitch with a couple dollars in the green you understand me like <laughs> I am going for it every time, and and yeah, yeah, man. Hold up, hold up. See, you got to be on some. If I was a, a a person doing a eulogy at a funeral, and I'm telling people like, yo, he, he was loved, man. He was probably the the person that changed my life. People crying. I'm getting thousands. I ain't gonna hold you up, brother. That little eulogy that you just that little sample you gave us was whack. This nigga, she been headhunting this whole. He episode. been headhunting them, boy. <laughs> he wanted payback. He was waiting for the right Come moment on, to hit the. Come on, man. You know, think all right. about this. Wait, think about it like this. You can make it's it. You can make multiple people laugh with one thought. Me personally, I've only made one person cry at a time. <laughs> I've never made more than one person cry at once. It's always been very, very but directed. You know what? If you had a fire ass movie that went to the theaters and you had a scene where you died or you proposed oh. or you came back, yeah. oh nigga. Wait, but that's one that's one movie? scene that needed you needed a whole bunch of buildup to fall in love with that character for that one cry. 
Hold up, you might get them. You may or may not. It might not be like Lion King where people cry every time. But Man, laughing, I, a funny movie can get you every single time, and you can, can multiple times. Think about faking your death one time. <laughs> Are you going for the big payoff just for the one lump sum? Take your death one time, bam, get all that money from around the world. In, in other news, we lost a real one today. That's true. Wait. <sighs> you got to be really loved, though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Not only that, that one time, but anytime people think about you, posthumously, you're going to also get that thousand. They look at a picture, they be like, and start tearing up, boom, another thousand dollars. Boom, another We're talking about dollars. crying, though, not just feeling bad. Like, think about the celebrities, because now you're going into celebrity territory. Think about the celebrities who've died in our adult lifetime that we've cried. I can count one. Ooh. When Chadwick died, I genuinely teared up. I didn't so that's me. one. I have never cried about a celebrity. I didn't even cry when Michael Jackson died. See? So I, I don't know. Two things. Well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Finish, finish, finish what you're saying. I was done. I'm saying like, <laughs> I, I, I was done. I feel I didn't, like I, didn't I feel like <laughs> I feel like when Nipsey when Nipsey got killed and I was watching the funeral and then Black Sam got up there yeah. and couldn't even talk. You right. He kept crying. I was like, oh man. Wait, wait, wait. But, but that's indirect. Nipsey's death didn't make you cry. Someone close to Nipsey's reaction made mm -hmm. you cry. So I don't know. Would that count for us? Nope. Mm, Damn, you're right. I had that. to that because that'd be Sam Little Thousand. Yeah. That wouldn't even be Nip Thousand. Right. That would, exactly. That would be Sam. Damn. And when you talk about so Dion, you talk about eulogies, bro. Let me tell you something, man. I'm er, I'm about two and six when it comes to giving <laughs> eulogies and making people laugh. Like I have bombed at some funerals, but I bombed at my dad's funeral, and this is my dad. I was like, nigga, y'all not gonna, y'all not gonna fuck. <laughs> you get the pity laugh. This is my father. Fine. Because or laugh. Oh, I was I was hitting him with the joke to try and make me not cry. And I said, because it was a woman who went up before me and she was like, Yeah, I better get right with the Lord. Y'all better get right with him because life is short. And then I went up there and I was like, Well, I guess we all better get right with the Lord. Crickets. The guy was like, <clears throat> Well, this this ain't more. <laughs> <laughs> it was in there like, yeah, yeah, we do. Woo, <laughs> nigga, this is my father. Nigga, you went to a funeral and said, "This isn't my audience." <laughs> oh, the same audience. <laughs> <laughs> and it was your dad. This is my father, nigga. They fuck with it. Family. This Here's the thing, though. This is what I noticed about giving eulogies, and take this with you. If you ever try to be funny at a funeral. Write your speech down first. Don't ever go up there and freestyle. <laughs> Write your because when I went to my uncle's funeral last year, I wrote the speech out, killed it. I killed it. Nigga, I was on fire. Everybody was laughing. But when I tried to freestyle at my dad's funeral, they couldn't get me out of there fast enough. I had to cry <laughs> twice. <laughs> Nothing yet. You know what? One thing hit, and it wasn't even intentional. It was like I was setting the joke up and they started laughing. I'm like, well, I guess that's where the punchline is, because I ain't about to go to the rest. <laughs> Pull that parachute! Pull that parachute, nigga! I was in that bitch. I definitely bombed at funerals, bro. Because it, it, it's such a hard audience. Because it you, is. You have to bring yeah. them to the funeral, then make them laugh. And it's like, you know who was killing? Like four people killed at Teddy Ray funeral. I was like, God damn! Can y'all stop? <laughs> I was like, yo, like he's funnier than all you niggas. And here you niggas coming up like, hey, hey, hey. And uh, one thing Teddy said, I was like, God damn, niggas, they're killing here. But that Killer. makes sense, though, because Teddy was just surrounded by hilarious, yeah. hilarious people. So yeah. I, yeah. I can definitely see that. But, I mean, if if it was my dad, I'd be like, hey, give me a give me a laugh so I can get through this. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. Because you got to remember, well, you ain't got to remember. I had to educate you on it. My dad lived in Virginia. So my mom and the rest of my family were in Detroit, but my dad and, you know, the, my step side of the family were in Virginia. So yeah. I'm talking to extended family there, not his family. Uh, so these people are like, uh, who the fuck is the, oh, that's okay. We remember when he used to come for the summers. Okay. And then I'm saying all this shit. My little sister was, she was laughing hard as fuck, but that's the only person that I had. It was like, Oof, <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, I know I lost my dad, right? No, okay, cool. All right, y'all go. He was like some of their dad too. <laughs> Why would I tell you awkward city? 
I got a video of me talking about father's funeral, doing the jokes. I can't look at it because I can't watch myself bomb again. <laughs> Woo. But my uncle's funeral, nigga, I got oh, that shit on DVD. Yeah, because the funeral is already bad, but you got to add a bad performance to that. Man, <laughs> I already lost my dad. Now I got to live with the fact yeah, yeah. that I'm bombing. You lost the day. Woo. They gave you the light. They gave you the light. You're like it's the girl. Here's the here's the worst That's part. The last when you actually you have with him too. When you bombing at your dad's funeral, you just gotta leave when you done. Ain't nobody telling you come on. Because that's your dad. Nobody's gonna say, "Come on, son, get off the stage." So I'm just on the stage, and I was like, "Love you, dad." Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Why? I just got Just leave mid sentence. It was September third when I. I can't. I can't. Great story. Yeah, but in my defense, nobody killed. <laughs> he said in my defense, nobody in my defense, did. nobody was funny in my dad's funeral. Nobody was in the mood. That's why tough I, crowd. Yeah. Tough crowd. Hundred dollars to make someone laugh versus a thousand dollars to make someone cry. Which I go with. I can't make nobody cry. Laugh. I'm going with laugh, but let me also amend this. I won't take all black Friday at eight, but I will take an all black audience Friday at ten. Because eight o'clock shows are people just getting off work and they commuting. 10 o'clock, they had a chance to go to the crib and chill, get ready for the 10. Now they ready to laugh. Well, awesome. CC, you can't lose anything, though. You still gonna get a couple of laughs. You might not get a million, but you're right. gonna get a couple of laughs. That's you a fact. Can't, don't leave nothing on the floor. I'm going oh, to you know what I want? You know what I want? And it, every comedian who's worth their salt knows this. I would love to get in front of a church crowd and do clean material for five minutes, and you guaranteed to get a standing ovation. So that's eight yeah. million right there. They laugh at everything. You know what I do? I like to go in front of a church crowd and just defile them because they because because they they've been they've been wanting to hear some weird fucked up shit anyway. So I like to go in front of them and be like, "Guess what, niggas?" You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, "Oh, we needed this." Because I'm gonna tell you, man, they don't they don't get a lot of real niggas shit. Fuck them. I always thought that. Wait, Basura. why am I hearing Spanish? Basura. That's Dion. That's Dion calling. Yeah. Playing too much. Dion, what you going with? What does that mean, Dion? Basura. Trash. Ain't that trash? Trash. <laughs> trash. I'm trash, Dion, because I would like to cuss at a church, though. Is that what it is, bro? Is that what it is? Talk to me. Talk to us. Talk to us, bro. <laughs> Cause that wasn't even about you. That was about somebody else. But here you go. You know what I'm saying? What you, bro? What, what, what? Here's what y'all don't realize, man. And I'm gonna tell. I want Dion and CP to know both of this. Both of y'all are so petty that neither one of you realizes it's not going to end today. Like y'all are going to go after each other you from this day forward. This. Listen, let me tell you something. Somebody I see that at the Merck Park. They said, "Why you be letting CP get at you, man?" Pat CP to here be whooping your ass. I was like, I'm not a roaster, man. Like, fight back, man. You are my favorite. I said, You're right, man. <laughs> that was a big ass clap. God damn. Man. <laughs> I chest bumped the nigga. I said, You right, man. Let's hey, do this. That's, hey, that's one of them Billy Blanks claps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we programmed for you. Listen, I haven't man. heard that name in a very long time. Billy man. Blanks. <laughs> That's a Thank great you. last name. Yeah, I can't be beat because I can roast anything. I, said, I have no soul, bro. I, <laughs> I'm a motherfucker. So, like, nobody can. It's like, bro, it's like, man, I'm going to get off here and have the same face. Like, hmm. <laughs> like, nigga. I have no soul. Crazy, bro. <laughs> I have no sympathy. Right, so I, I have nothing. I have yeah, nothing. What you go with? I'll go with the tears. Cry. All right, so Dion want to be the eye man now. Everybody else picks the laugh. Laughs have it on it. We're going to jump into this last topic right after this. Last topic of the day we have. Yeah, wait, wait, wait to hear Dion. See, guys, listen, I ain't mean that I'm soulless, but it's like, I park a handicap, bro, and I look niggas in their eye, but like, I got the 250 to pay the fine. It's not just what? handicap. It's also VIP parking for niggas who have the 250. Who, who do you look in the eye? <laughs> the people who say shit. You swear to in front of a car that really needs the spot. It just <laughs> looked like, like, are you talking about looking at my regular, regular walk? They be like, why are you parking there? You walking regular. Like, nigga, the 250 is why. 
<laughs> it's usually 300 in LA, ain't it? Oh, you know, it's 250 out here. Okay. They know me. They be like, Mr. Why, Mr. They Powell? Know me. <laughs> why, Mr. Powell? Why, why are we doing this? They that? know me. <laughs> All right. Last time of the day, we have Would You Rather Have a Flying Carpet versus an Iron Man suit? Iron Man suit. It's not Iron even Man close, suit. kid. <laughs> what am I, a lad? You ass off that carpet so fast. You can fall off a, a, a carpet. Yeah, no seatbelt. Hey, the, you out of control. The thing that I hated the most about that flying carpet is that it was alive. So imagine you said, imagine like you said some slick shit to it, or you stepped on it with dirty yeah. shoes or something, and then like you flying and it just decides to like throw you off. Like it, it, it's you, you're not controlling it. You just gotta be like this way. So Iron Man suit for sure. Also, the Iron Man suit is so dope because you got a body of armor and you can go protect people and save the world or yeah. just fly around and shoot lasers or stop uh, stop attacks during war. With a magic carpet, you get burnt up, bro. Now you stuck wherever you flew to. Yeah. So this is what you also got to remember. Like, you, can, you can do that with the Iron Man suit for sure, but do you want to be a hero? Do you want to be called upon every time? Something's going wrong. With the Nobody said anybody was getting called, though. <laughs> you never said we was getting called, though. You no, said, no. are we going to choose a magic carpet or an Iron Man suit? Not Iron Man responsibilities. Those were your, those were your points. You said you could go around, stop crime, help people out. I'm so glad remember, you said that. You Notice, you ain't stopping crime. Notice that you said you could. Nobody said they expect. <laughs> Wait, but also, remember, the government was trying to take the suit and 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 make it part of the government and he chose yep. to privatize it i'm yep. like all right bet draft a Listen. contract up i'm mm -hmm. i'm getting rich <laughs> having an iron man suit is like having a pickup truck bro people would expect you to help with like you know what I'm saying? Like, oh you got pickup listen we, we, we got a swing set like no <laughs> we got a swing set <laughs> no but Niggas forget the Iron Man suit, bro. The fact that it like grows on you, like poof, 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 poof. Yeah. The, the, the carpet don't do nothing. Nothing. It doesn't yeah. do anything. Right. If you don't have any holes, you're just flying around showing yourself yeah. the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ruining your you hair. Somebody gonna fuck with you just by having a flying carpet. The flying it carpet was hell, like dog. it was it was like uh Doctor Strange's robe almost. Poof. Like yep. the fact yeah. that it could think it could do that for you, yep. protect you. So like if y'all ain't gotta worry about stopping no crimes stuff like that, I just go outside. You know how fast I can get to my barber shop by hopping on the the, the magic rug, the carpet versus there are the no seat belts to here. You when need I walk through a safety. scenario to here, you 30,000 feet up trying to fly a bitch to Vegas. Y'all both fall. The carpet is partial to you. The carpet gotta catch <laughs> both of y'all. So the carpet gonna catch you, she gonna fall, and now you get brought up on charges, mind you. <laughs> Mind you, you're on 23 hour and one lockdown. The one hour that you can go outside, carpet can come get you out of jail. We didn't think about that. Wait, wait, wait. But you you bring up a good point. The carpet is like it got a passenger seat. You know, Aladdin has taken Jasmine. Yeah, around. Jasmine on there. Iron Iron Man is 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 solo. You can't ride. You can't go piggyback on Iron Man. Like you burn up. But you strong <laughs> as hell though. You can just grab him like this over the by the, by the back of the neck like a pit bull. And just dragging them around. <laughs> around yeah, LA. Iron, Man, Iron Man and flew up with people before. Huh? He's Didn't caught he people in his arms. Who? Yeah, yeah, he's caught several people in his arms. Yeah. Any of the films, he's but caught him. But he ain't like <coughs> travel. He hasn't traveled like far distances with them. No, not far distances. Also, not super high up in the sky. Yeah. I'll say this. Right. Uh, I would like an Iron Man suit that fluctuates with me because my weight is up and down, and I don't, I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be trapped in this Iron Man suit that I can't really get in it. You know what I mean? A waffle Ooh. Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> waffle Iron Man suit? <laughs> waffle Iron Man suit, bro. Give me some room. Uh, you have oh, an Iron Chef suit. Talks about that. You can't, you can't gain weight. You can't gain weight. It ain't you gotta, you know. <laughs> you can't gain weight on you. <laughs> That's why nobody stole the suit, because you couldn't fit it. <laughs> Your arc reactor is like, <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say to here? <laughs> There's a way to pass me in the suit. You have a crazy <laughs> summer. You can't do nothing with the suit all winter long. Yo, all winter long. You had a crazy couple of nights eating pizza. Now you. <laughs>
<laughs> you can't get your chest plate all right. What if you get it on? You fuck no, around no. and you fuck around and sneeze, and that bitch pop off you in mid sky. Now you fall <laughs> down from the sky because the suit you fell off you. Hey, it's a you cold game. Too much stuff in your trunk and try to op- like do the automatic trunk close. And it was just like, oh, <laughs> like mm-hmm. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. The fellow's like, aim for the crack mm-hmm. right there. You gotta open it. <laughs> you wait. Bro. For <laughs> <laughs> now you look hella ghetto because you took the chest piece off your Iron Man suit. So <laughs> you got the whole suit on. And people see a black t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you hell exposed. The suit is like when, the, when David Banner was trying to transform into the Hulk, and the Hulk was like, No! The suit's no. like, Duh. You got, the, you got the 50 cent white beater up under there. <laughs> <laughs> the boneless beater. <laughs> boneless beater, yeah. Oh, He's just, for the, for the, I need a flexible suit of nanites <laughs> to do my armor, bro. Iron Man cropped up. <laughs> it's just, it's just this. <laughs> you need a, hey, why you Iron, Man Iron Man suit? You want an Iron Man suit made out of Spider Man's material, though? Man, I need, <laughs> I need iron spandex, bro. I, hey, man, I need it to fit to whatever I am. Yeah, whatever my up and down is. The nano right. was just enough when you start off, but now your fingers and your toes are out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Iron, Man, Iron Man made Spider-Man's outfit. Why the hell didn't he do that for himself? For everybody. <laughs> he should have did it for everybody. That's Black right. Widow, hey. Hawkeye. But the Spider-Man suit that Iron Man made is a, like an Iron Man spider suit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like, it's like irony. You talking about the one with the the, the legs and that come yeah, out? Yeah, Iron Spider. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So why didn't he do that for himself? Because he still got the chunky iron suit. Well, you know what's funny? Iron Man yeah, never he, really he threw kicks. Nanomite, no, no. He was always like a nanomite. like BT Casey has the best description of Steven Seagal. He says he does kickless karate. That's what <laughs> Iron Man did. <laughs> it was all punches. <laughs> Hey, that's accurate as fuck, though. It's the best, bro. When I tell you BT Kingsley's writing will make you cry laughing if you just listen. Yeah. Kickless karate, bro. <laughs> that is funny. Steven Seagal is probably the biggest enigma within the martial arts like film yeah. industry ever. Because yeah. like, on paper, it's like this nigga, he looked like a bad guy, like a like one of the thugs yeah. that attacks the main character. <laughs> <laughs> Follow him the whole movie. You like, oh, we oh, we follow this dude. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was leading us to the hero, but he's the okay, got it. He did it like Mendoza. <laughs> Wait till Steve, Mendoza I in. thought he was leading us to the hero. I thought he was leading us to the hero, but he's the guy I'm watching for the next two hours. Got it. John Claude Van Damme was that guy for a while, bro. Oh, yeah. I love Van Damme. Did Everybody y'all, else. Did y'all ever try to like Jimmy to the because of him? You talk about blood sport when that nigga was doing those splits? Oh, oh god damn! Hurt the shit out of my balls when I was ten, boy. I was like, ah, oh, this ain't how it's supposed to go. <laughs> I was like, no, he got it. Because oh, he, because it was the, that was the era. Early nineties was the era of the splits. You saw Johnny Cage do it. You saw John Claude Van Damme. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do the splits. Nah. Yeah. And then Rob Van Dam came out, and I was like, is it a Van Dam thing to do the splits? Because they were like. Clearly, both doing hella splits, and they looked like, alike. Yeah, so you're like, "Oh shit, they brothers." Because you know, here's the fu- this is the fucked up thing about the '90s, bro. People led with rumors, like there was no internet to fact right, check. Right, so if a right. nigga was like, "Yeah, they brothers," you'd be like, "Oh, okay, that makes sense because they look alike." Yeah. Yeah. Undertaker and Kane, biggest lie ever. Biggest lie. <laughs> These niggas didn't even hang out together. I'm like, I thought they was brothers. Motherfuckers <laughs> 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 don't even hang. <laughs> Well, I don't even know why that we going with. We're going with Iron Man, we're going with the flying carpet. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man, yeah. Flying carpet. I don't care what y'all say. Well, now explain <laughs> why. Why? Okay. One, you know I'm a fan of vehicles. Whether it be driving or flying, I'm a fan of vehicles, right? Two, the ease and comfort I would have with a flying carpet versus an Iron Man suit. I can hop on a flying carpet, go to LAX, fly where I need to on the plane. Carpet can go with me. I just roll them up, throw on the backpack. Then when I get there, I ain't got to rent no car. I can handle all my business on flying carpet, right? Save money, save time, all right? You ain't getting through TSA with no goddamn Iron Man suit. Okay? <laughs> you ain't flying all the way to Atlanta. You're not flying all the way to Atlanta. No goddamn Iron Man suit. You're going to have to take a break to pee somewhere. You ain't got to take the whole suit off. 
to go pee, I go pee in the back of the plane. That's what I'm gonna do. He had a portable version though. That was like a part of. How it. you gonna pee if you on the red carpet? I mean, if you on the carpet though. <laughs> On everybody I else? <laughs> you talking about flying 30,000 feet? What'd you say? He What'd said you say? on everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but Pete, this is the seriousness, though, to hear. Because you're obviously not well-versed in the superhero world. Iron Man has several different devices. He got a watch that he can tap, and the armor comes on him. So you don't even need the airport. He has a filtration system where you can pee in the suit. Let me tell you something. But you're, you're a Iron weapon, Man suit. You gotta register that. Every weapon. Iron Man suit had missiles or, or something that can fire. You think that watch gonna get through there? It's gonna beep every time because somewhere, somehow, it's some lasers and some missiles in there. You don't need, don't need the airport, airport if you have an Iron Man suit. You got flying <laughs> all the way to that. Atlanta. You can get no shot suit. off the carpet to here. Yeah, you can get <laughs> shot. What if somebody <laughs> sees who's gonna shoot you? Anybody who sees a nigga on a carpet in the sky. Who is that, that nigga on that neck? <laughs> Listen, I'm almost all I gotta do is fly over one, one hood, one hood event. They're gonna recognize, oh, that's here on the carpet. Then Instagram gonna take it and take it from there. Now they'll just know it's me. They have no reason to shoot me down. If you flying over the hood, somebody gonna jump up and snatch that fucking carpet and you gonna fall off that carpet and they're gonna take your carpet, bro. Way too dangerous. The carpet knows evasive maneuvering, ET. You don't think carpet knows evasive maneuvering? What Iron Man suit Alibaba? for the win. Alibaba. <laughs> and the carpet can get hot. What if it's hot up there and you close to the sun and stuff? And then it's... <sighs> That's fabric, my oh, boy. How do y'all think I'm flying? Why y'all close to the sun? I don't have to fly 30,000 feet. It's not an airplane. Yeah, I just Iron Man fly got in the buildings. It got air conditioning in the Iron Man suit. Facts. I'm almost certain that, that I, the air, I never Iron Man suit might support. give you brain damage. Because how are you controlling it? You're, it's not like you're pushing buttons. It's, it's all like... Jarvis, he's a genius. He made he he thought of all this. Yeah, it's an AI inside the suit. I'm sure there's some sort of Black Mirror story that's gonna come out about having a Iron Man suit. <laughs> the, the, carpet carpet is, the carpet is zero technology. I the Tony Stark at least is a weapons expert who like thought of all this stuff. The mm -hmm. carpet, the carpet is no thought at all. It's an mm -hmm. alive thing that you're hoping mm -hmm. will fuck with you enough to keep you alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm Pat is here. Logic, bro. He's the only person nah. being logical. No, listen. This is what I'm saying. I'm gonna have that little thing in your car. It's like in the cup holder that holds your phone up. I'm gonna have that clip to the end of the carpet, so my phone is right there with the GPS. You I'm don't know how physics car, works, and that's the bigger issue right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's how you roll my carpet up, nigga. So you have a live carpet coming through. TSA. Where's Where's the carpet going to go while you're doing your business? You think you just about to tell him to just stay or he going to fly and meet you at the next spot? I'm going to roll him call up the carpet when you're ready to go. I'm going to roll him up and put him in a bag. I'm rolling you up, you know, the little things that you're like you got paintings or something. It's got the container. I got the container wrapped, strapped on the chest. Boom. But to hear it's alive, it's like a pet. So when you take him out, he going to be pissed at you. <laughs> no, no. He understands what we're doing. He understands what we're doing. Hold up. Like, does, does the carpet need to eat or does it need to charge up or something? What is it? How does it survive? Nah, man, it's it's the carpet is like, unlike carpet. the suit. You said <laughs> like the suit. <laughs> you said does he need to charge the carpet? Don't I wasn't even going to acknowledge it, Pat. Y'all niggas don't be stalling people out. And I realized oh, that. No. <laughs> we all have the, we all saw Aladdin. We all know the rules of the carpet. <laughs> How is he surviving if he's alive, man? You, you feel it's a like magic carpet. carpet. <laughs> It's, the name is in your. The answer is in your question. Magic, bro. <laughs> carpet cleaner on them or something. Magic carpet. Hey, Rick. emphasis on the carpet, nigga, because you're not about to roll hey. that bitch up and put it in the backpack. <laughs> this is a carpet. Hey, dog. Randomly, bro. Shout out to my nigga Buka Pong. Buka Pong came to the comedy store the other day, and he started heckling me like he always does. And we started roasting. And I told that nigga he looked like the genie that comes out of a tall can of beer. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, yeah, he the only genie that come out and beg you for one of your wishes. Like, hey, let us get a wish. Let us get one of your wishes. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> wish me a pack of cigarettes, then. Wish me a pack of cigarettes, then, nigga. Yeah. Wish me a pack of Let Unk get a wish. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> 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 hey, before you get started, before you get started, like the Iron Man. 
Hey, but before you get started, can I get a wish first? <laughs> the genie trying to get one of your three is crazy. Mm-hmm. Bro, <laughs> <you imagine? laughs> a fiend genie? Yeah, a fiend yeah. genie? You got three, a man. Genie? <laughs> 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 oh, this looks like the, the Iron Man suit has it on this one. Uh, we want to thank our special guests for pulling through. CT, Dion Leg, it was a great time. Thank y'all so much for pulling up. Shout out to the OG Squad, CP, Petra Cloud. I'm to hear more. And thank you guys at home for watching another episode of Squadcast Versus. We'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys. <laughs>